Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn the PostgreSQL backup strategy overview. So back behind the scene, we will see it uh, actually for the Azure, but it is going to be unique for uh, either you go for the on-premises or on uh, infrastructure as a service on any of the cloud. So here we go. So uh, the, the topic is all about the PostgreSQL backup strategies. So mainly there are three approaches to back up your PostgreSQL database. So uh, the first one is using the SQL dump. Uh, the second one is file system level backup. The third one is uh, continuous archiving. The popular of all these three is the basic one, which is SQL dump. So when we talk about this uh, SQL dump, it is going to create a file with SQL commands. And when you restore it on your uh, same host or the new host, it is going to recreate your database in the same state as it was when you have taken the dump just to show like how it is work, going to work we will see a very small demo for uh, the first item only not all the three items because they have been already uh, shown the demo in some some other sessions so by default PostgreSQL provides the utility program which is called as pg underscore dump which is being used for backing up the particular database. So how do we use it? So this is uh, this is used as pg underscore dump. You provide the DB name and then you redirect it to a particular location. Say for a example, I have, uh, this is my uh, pg uh, postgre 12. And if I show you, I have DVD rental database over there that has uh, 15 tables in it. And if I have to take the backup of this uh, database, the easiest way is using the uh, the command using p pg underscore dump. So uh, how it works, pg underscore dump, the database name, hyphen v verbose if you wanted to see the output on the screen, redirect it to a particular file where it is going to store it. So you can see that it's been created and if you wanted to see the content, you just go ahead and uh, uh, view the content using the VI or CAT, whatever it is. So you can see that it is in the text format. PostgreSQL uh, database dump, or dumped from database version 12.5, uh, started on this particular time and it, it contains all the information for your database. Just to be remember, uh, remembering like uh, this is, this creates uh, as soon as you fire it, so whatever the state of the database at that time, uh, it is going to capture all that. So anything uh, changing after that, it is it is not going to control. So pg underscore dump can create the files in other formats. You can increase the number of parallelism. You can have some more fine grained uh, control. If you wanted to see more, just say pg underscore uh, dump hyphen hyphen help. It is going to show you all the details which you can do with this. The biggest part is what is the advantage when there are so many tools and technologies available for backing up the database, why pg underscore dump is still one of the best choice for backup and restoration. So the best part is it can be reloaded into newer version of PostgreSQL. Say for example, the my current PostgreSQL is on uh, 12.5 uh, and the newer version if you see it it is on 13.51 and let's let us assume not really uh, concerning to this environment but uh, what you can actually do is you can reload from a lower environment to the uh, say for example lower version to the higher versions or uh, that is only possible using pg underscore dump and while the file level backups and there are two other and the, which is the continuous archiving they are uh, specific to your server version specific you cannot you go beyond that so this is the only choice when you have to transport your database uh, across the version you have to use pg underscore dump and pg underscore dump is the only method which is going to work when you have to transfer a database from 32-bit uh, to 64-bit operating systems and the dumps which are created by pg dump are internally consistent that means it is going to represent the snapshot at the data when the pg dump was uh, started running anything 
which happened after that it is not going to uh, to capture that so you you have you have to make sure that if you wanted a consistent snapshot that uh, that means you have to stop the application interface facing it uh, so that nobody is able to access and modify it there are pros and cons also we are not going to discuss about that but how to restore the dump which is being backed up using underscore uh, which is being backed up using pg underscore dump the text files which are created by pg underscore dump they are they can be only read by the program which is called as psql and it is available in all the versions and that is the way it it re, it is used for restoring the database in in same host or different host say for example we have uh, uh, let's say we have taken a backup using like this and if i wanted to restore it in in our uh, same host using some name let's say if i say i wanted to restore dvd rental as dvd rental underscore restored one what i should be doing is and this is really related to the refreshes or the migrations so you need to create that blank database and it is going to restore that so it is going to give you the message that this database doesn't exist so what you have to do is you just create this database so you just say create a database and a database name uh, If you just say slash l, it is going to show you that database exists. And now you try importing using psql dvd rental uh, underscore restored one, and it is going to be restored. So this is restored. So this is the 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 simplest way of doing this. The pg dump and psql can be used to write or read from the pipes. That means in case I have two servers, and if there is a connectivity, so that that part is very very important. If the two servers are connected, uh, the ports are open for the connection. Then in that case, you can transfer the uh, database from one host to another. That means you can restore the database from one host to another without uh, uh, transferring it using uh, WinSCP or using uh, the, the SCP command. So it will be done over the network. So you just say pg underscore dump. So this is a case, uh, I have two servers. Uh, this is one which is uh, uh, pg 11 EMS and there is another server which is uh, PG 13 EMS. So if I wanted to uh, transfer the data from one host to another, so what I will say is PG underscore dump hyphen H, the host name of the source server and the uh, database name. Then you put it uh, the pipe. PG dump is this this entire stuff is for backing up then there is a pipe that means redirect this output to psql h this is the target server and this is the target database so once you do this this is going to restore we are not actually going to do it because the firewall ports are not open the firewall is not open between source and the target the moment you do this this is going to be restored into the target environment. So this is going to be very, very easy. And one of the convenient way of uh, copying the database from one uh, host to another, or this is also used for refresh. You can put it in the cron job, depending upon your requirement on the weekly basis, whatever refresh requirement you have, you can use it using the PG underscore dump method. But this is only applicable when you have a single database or a specific database. In case you wanted to do it for the all the databases on the particular host on the cluster, so you will be using pg underscore dump all. So pg underscore dumps will be using for the one database. If you have to do it for all the database, you have to use pg underscore dump all. And one of the challenge with pg underscore dump is it is not going to dump the information about roles or table space because they are uh, they are available on the cluster wise rather than the database. In case you have some roles and the table spaces for uh, let's say for, for for particular database, it is going you have to use pg underscore dump all. 
So pg underscore dump all is used to backup all the databases. So if I simply say pg underscore dump all and if I give the uh, the location and the name, it is going to dump all the information. So you can see uh, all the cluster related information will be uh, captured. So you can see that. So this is pg underscore dump all. It is going to dump all the informations which is related. To, so it says PostgreSQL database cluster dump complete. It is not saying it is database dump only. It is whatever is there in the cluster wise, it is going to dump all of them. And to restore it, you again, you have to use psql command program is used to read it and write it back to the database so you can use it according to your requirement the second in this case is the file system level backup which is always considered to be one of the option when you talk about the relational database so backup in this what happens is you, you know you mention the location of the data directory let's say if my this is this is not going to be the practical one if you say show data underscore directory this is your data directory location in case you wanted to do a file system backup you can mention it like this tar hyphen cvf what we are saying it is an impractical way of uh, doing the backup this is not the practical way it is never suggested but this is one of the way and uh, in what scenario it can be tested and I'll tell you that as well so the tar backup has been taken what are the disadvantages of using it when you do this way tar hyphen cvf or why it is supposed to be inferior as compared to pg underscore dump method in this case the database must be shut down in order to get a usable backup just if you say i have disconnected all the connections it is not going to work because in part because tar and the similar tools do not make an atomic snapshot of the state of the file system so it also because of the internal buffering within the server and uh, you also cannot back up the restore only using certain individual tables or databases using the respective files or directory so though it is it is going to happen in that way but you we we cannot use it an alternative file system backup approach is to make a consistent snapshot of the data directory so this is not going to be practical but this is a way available in case you can freeze your file system so that there are no changes no buffering is available in that case you can try to use it make sure that you do the checksums so as to assure that uh, it is it is a consistent cold sort of backup you can use uh, rsync as well in case you try this way but this is not the suggested way but this is this is an available option in case somehow you can freeze the file system for any type of uh, read and write for the time being when you uh, when you uh, wanted to take a snapshot backup of that file system where the data is residing the third one which is the continuous archiving and point in time recovery this is most famous one and this is this is particularly for production environment and back behind the scene it is going to use your wall which is uh, right ahead uh, logging and it is the data will be available in the pg underscore wall and this is available in your data directory so this contains all the information so which uh, which has changed in your database so any insert update delete uh, operations which is happening at the table level they will be first restored in wall level uh, wall files and in case your database has crashed you can restore your database using that so when you take a uh, continuous archiving and point in time recovery strategy you do a file system level backup when we say file system backup it is this one second but it is actually not that there is an inbuilt tool which is given to take the uh, the base backup which is called as pg underscore 
base backup tool so what it does it it is going to read your entire data directory assuming you have the table spaces also available over there it is going to take a backup of the entire data directory in a format that can be restored using the uh, the untar way so in layman language we will say it is a tar backup and when you restore it you you restore it using the untar way in your data directory and on top of that whatever wall files they are available you have to put it back and when you are doing the restoration you have to make sure that you restore all the wall archives so that you can restore it to a particular point in time or whatever archives of walls are available they you will be used for restoring the database this is not a straightforward there are some parameters which are involved which you need to follow just to make sure that you uh, you restore it so there is a complete session on that you can follow that and it is it is going to be very very simple so when you do the restoration using uh, pg underscore base backup and you use the restoration using uh, point in time recovery uh, you have to make sure the permissions on the restored uh, data directory is correct and then you try to restore it and then it is going to work so this is one of the uh, the best way of uh, backup strategy when you talk about the production environment where you don't want to to perform the pg underscore dump backup or pg underscore dump all because whatever transactions are there in the database you wanted to capture all of them so you should be following pg underscore dump uh, you should be following pg underscore base backup which is actually the third way of backing up your entire uh, cluster and that is called as continuous archiving and point in time recovery so if you talk about all the three so just a, a quick recap so we have seen uh, the quickest way of backing up the database individual database you have pg underscore dump if you have to back up the entire cluster pg underscore dump all is there there is a provision for file system level backup also in case you are able to freeze the data blocks or the bufferings that do not change and for the production environment where in every transaction matters you have to make sure that you uh, you archive all the transactions so you have continuous point in time recovery method wherein back behind the scene you have to take the pg underscore base backup and whatever the archives are there you have to to uh, uh, back up all of them and during restoration uh, you have to use the base backup plus all the wall files which are available and you have to restore your database up to a point in time and this is going to be very very important for your uh, uh, your production environment there are open source tool and techniques available wherein third method will be available that can be used so if you talk about pg underscore uh, backrest that can be used you can use the uh, the barman so they 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 are really useful so this is just about the basic concept of PostgreSQL backup strategy. I hope this is going to help and thank you.